In professional golf, there are few things more thrilling than a long drive. When a player absolutely crushes a ball, it's a thing of beauty. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the greatest drives in PGA history. Each one is a testament to the skill and talent of these great players. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some of the best drives ever played on the PGA Tour. First up, we have the Bussin Drive by Tiger Woods at the 2001 Masters. In 2001, Tiger Woods hit a 402-yard drive at the par-5 hole during the final round of the Masters Tournament. It's believed to be the farthest drive in professional golf history. His tee shot landed on the fairway, rolling onto the green and stopped just 12 feet from the hole. Woods went on to make the birdie putt and won the tournament by three strokes. The drive was officially recorded as 379 yard drive as it was measured from where the ball first landed on the fairway. However, using GPS technology, it's estimated that Woods hit that ball a total of 402 yards. When asked about the drive, Woods simply said, I cranked it. He has since gone on to win numerous tournaments and is considered one of the greatest golfers of all time. Next up, on the podium, we have John Daly. Long-hitting golfers are always fun to watch. They step up to the tee and give it a mighty whack, sending the ball flying down the fairway. The crowd erupts in cheers and everyone is eager to see just how far the ball will go. John Daly was one of the longest hitters on the PGA Tour and in 2006, he showed just how far he could hit the ball. During the WGC American Express Championship, Daly smashed a drive of 486 yards, setting a new tournament record. It's an impressive feat, especially when you consider that Daly was using a driver that was just 43 inches long. Today, many golfers use drivers that are nearly 50 inches long, but it seems that even those extra few inches don't guarantee that you can match Daly's incredible feat. And now, Dustin Johnson at the BMW Championship. In 2016, Dustin Johnson hit a drive of 424 yards at the WGC Bridgestone Invitational this was the longest drive of his career and the second longest drive recorded on the PGA Tour that year. Johnson's feat was made all the more impressive by the fact that he did it on a par 4 hole. While Johnson is not the longest hitter on the PGA Tour, he is considered one of the most consistent drivers of the ball. In addition to his long drive at the WGC Bridgestone Invitational, he has also hit drives of 400 yards or more at the Open Championship, the PGA Championship, and the World Golf Championship's Mexico Championship. When it comes to driving distance, Dustin Johnson is truly in a class by himself. And there's no way we could keep Phil Mickelson out of this. On April 10th, 2010, at the Masters Tournament in Augusta, Georgia, Phil Mickelson hit one of the most memorable shots of his career. Approaching the par 3, 13th hole, Mickelson faced a difficult shot over a pond to a green that was guarded by a bunker. But instead of playing it safe and laying up, Mickelson decided to go for it. His bold shot paid off as he landed his ball just inches from the hole for an easy birdie. It was a gutsy move that typified Mickelson's aggressive style of play and it helped him secure a victory at one of golf's most prestigious events. While Mickelson has had many great moments in his career, this shot is undoubtedly one of his best. After that, we have Bubba Watson at the 2012 Masters. Bubba Watson won his first green jacket in style with this incredible drive on the 10th hole at Augusta National. After driving his tee shot into the trees, Watson had to punch out sideways, just to get back into the fairway. His next shot was even more improbable as he hit a hooking wedge from 144 yards that somehow stopped inches from the hole. The shot led to an easy birdie for Watson, who went on to defeat Louis Oosthuizen in a sudden death playoff. While Watson has won two majors since then, that shot remains one of the most remarkable moments in his career. Up next is Jordan Spieth at the 2017 Open Championship. This drive by Jordan Spieth at Royal Birkdale is arguably one of the best in major championship history. After finding his ball in thick grass near some bunkers on the 13th hole, Spieth had little chance of reaching the green with his next shot but he somehow pulled off an unbelievable recovery by hitting a low punch shot that rolled onto the green and stopped just feet from the hole. Couldn't forget Ricky Fowler's drive at the Players' Championship, now could we? Ricky Fowler's drive on the Players' Stadium course's iconic 17th hole will go down as one of the greatest in tournament history. After hitting his tee shot into a hazard, Fowler had no chance of reaching the green with a second shot, but he somehow managed to pull off an amazing recovery by locking a pitch shot over some trees and onto the green where it settled just feet from the cup for an easy birdie putt. Next up, we have Rory McIlroy at the 2011 Masters Tournament. 
On the 10th hole of the 2011 Masters Tournament, Rory McIlroy hit what many consider to be the most impressive drive in golf history. Facing a narrow fairway with deep rough on either side, McIlroy unleashed a 318-yard explosion that found the center of the fairway. The drive set McIlroy up for an easy birdie and ultimately helped him secure a victory at Augusta National. While McIlroy has gone on to win multiple major championships now, this drive is still considered by many to be his finest moment. It was a display of raw power and precision that few golfers can match, and it cemented Rory McIlroy Roy's status as one of the best players in the world. Among the last few incredible PGA drives we have for you today is Ernie Els's best shot ever at the 2002 Open Championship. Ernie Els is considered one of the best golfers in the world. He has won four major championships and is a member of the World Golf Hall of Fame, but Els is perhaps best known for his best shot ever. It happened at the 2002 Open Championship in Muirfield. Els was trailing by two strokes on the final hole. He hit his tee shot into a fairway bunker. His second shot landed in heavy rough, but his third shot was pure magic. Else holed up from 164 yards away, resulting in an eagle and a victory. It was a shot that will be remembered for years to come, and it cemented Else's place as one of the greatest golfers of all time. And now for the absolute jaw-dropper that was shot by Mike Austin. On May 2nd, 1949, Mike Austin hit the longest drive in PGA history. The drive was recorded at 515 yards and was hit at the Tucson Open. Austin used a persimmon driver and a balada ball. The conditions were perfect for driving, with no wind and a dry fairway. Austin's drive was not only the longest in PGA history at the time, but it is also considered one of the best drives of all time. Austin had perfect technique, hitting the ball dead center on the sweet spot of the club. The ball then took a high trajectory and landed in the middle of the fairway. Although there have been longer drives recorded since Austin's record-setting shot, his drive is still considered one of the best ever. Austin's perfect technique and the conditions in the day combined to create a drive that has yet to be matched. Lastly, we have John Rahm's hard-hit drive that flew across a total of 341 yards. That's right, and you know what? While most average golfers focus on their short game, John Rahm reminds us that the drive is still the most important part of the game. In the final round of the Waste Management Open, Rahm averaged an incredible 341 yards off the tee, leading to a victory that put him atop the PGA Tour leaderboard. It was a masterful display of power and accuracy, and it earned him high praise from some of the game's greats. He hits it so flush, said Tiger Woods. The ball just explodes off the club face. Phil Mickelson was even more effusive in his praise, calling Rom the most talented player I've ever seen. With his dominating drive and outstanding short game, John Rom is poised to become one of the best players in the world. That's a wrap for this video. Which one of the above is your all-time favorite drive? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.